It could have been cool to wear some colors for today's video because summer cocktails, right? But in my wardrobe, all I have is black t-shirts, black jeans, and denim shirts. So guys, today, this is as colorful as I can be. Maybe I don't suit the team, but don't worry, cocktails are five delicious and easy summer cocktails. Let's do it right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. Today, five delicious and easy summer cocktails. I chose different cocktails with different flavor spectrums, so I'm sure there will be at least one for you, if not all of them. I'm starting today with a cocktail that has a very bad reputation, but when done properly, is crazy delicious, the strawberry daiquiri. As I said, this cocktail has a bad reputation because most of the time, bad ingredients are used to make it. But today, we're only gonna use fresh ingredients. It's a game changer. You will see, it'll be amazing. So we're gonna start with five pieces of strawberries, all of them approximately that size, and we're gonna throw them in the shaker first. Then with a the muddler, we're gonna extract all the juice and the flavors. And to that, we're gonna add two ounces of light rum. Then we're gonna juice one full ounce of fresh lime juice. And we're gonna balance it with three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And now this is optional, but I love to add a little bit of fresh tarragon. It just goes so well with the strawberry. So we're gonna put about three sprigs in our shaker, just like that. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna fine strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. It's really important to fine strain it because you wanna get rid of all the strawberries and the herbs pieces. And then for the garnish, we're simply gonna clip a little piece of tarragon next to the cocktail. It smells really good and makes a beautiful color contrast just like that and this my friend is how you make an elevated strawberry daiquiri cheers mm. it is so refreshing guys there's no need to be ashamed to like this cocktail it is perfectly balanced it is tart it is fruity it is lovely and the fresh tarragon adds a lot of anise flavor to the cocktail so i love it but if you don't like that don't be afraid to switch the herb for fresh basil, for example. It will also go really well with the strawberries. So guys, this is it for the strawberry daiquiris. Now let's refresh the station and make the second cocktail, the Esmeralda. All right, so this one is a riff on a pisco sour and I created it a few years ago for the bar at the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City. It is hearty, floral, a hint of bitterness. It is delicious. So we're gonna start with an ounce and a half of your favorite pisco. with half an ounce of mezcal. Then we're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of sous. Half an ounce of orange syrup. Quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. and one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And now this is a sour, so we're gonna add an egg white for the beautiful fraught sours are known for. 
We're gonna start with a dry shake for about 10 seconds. Shouldn't be enough. And now we're gonna add ice to the shaker and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds again. And now we're gonna fill a rice glass with ice and strain the cocktail right over it. Now for the garnish, we're gonna grate a little bit of fresh nutmeg. We're gonna add a little bouquet of fresh mint. And we're gonna finish with a spritz or two of orange blossom water. And this is it guys, this is how we make the riff on the Pisco Sour, the Esmeralda. Cheers. Hmm. I love the smell of this cocktail. The orange blossom water, the nutmeg and the mint. It smells so good, it is so fragrant. Then for the taste, it is very refreshing. A little bit smoky with the mezcal. That also adds a little bit of earthiness. That pairs really well with the gentian in the sous. That is also a little bit bitter, makes you salivate, makes you want to go back right away. And then full of texture because of the egg white, to my opinion, delicious summer cocktail. So this is it guys. Now let's reset the station again, make the third drink, the El Presidente. All right now, so this cocktail is not exactly the typical summer cocktail. There's no juice involved, it's not tropical or anything. But if you guys prefer spirit-driven cocktails but still want to feel like in summer, I'm sure you will love this one. And that's the reason why I added it to the list. So the El Presidente, or the one I like to call the Summer Manhattan, is a rum-based cocktail. We all know rum calls for summer, and it's mixed with dry sherry, orange liquor, grenadine, some bitters. It is delicious. Even though it is a stiff cocktail, it has some very bright aroma. So we gotta start with one ounce and a half of lightly aged rum. To that, we're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of Jamaican rum. Then we're gonna pour three quarters of an ounce of Tio Pepe or Fino Sherry in our mixing glass. And half an ounce of dry curacao. We also gonna add one bar spoon of grenadine. two dashes of Angostura bitters and two dashes of orange Angostura bitters. And now we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. And now we can strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And for the garnish, we're simply gonna express some orange oil on top of the cocktail, just like that. We're gonna wrap the glass a little bit for more aroma, and we're gonna discard the zest. And there you go, guys. This is how we make the El Presidente. Uh, full disclosure, this is not the classic recipe. This is just my favorite one. That's it, cheers. Mm. I love it. So now let's move the fourth cocktail, the Sherry Cobbler. The Sherry Cobbler was very popular in the mid 19th century. It is such a simple cocktail recipe, but at the same time, it is so complex in flavors. That's probably the reason why it got so popular back then. The only thing that we're gonna change from the classic recipe today, we're gonna add a few cucumber slices to make it even more summery and refreshing. So that's the reason why we're gonna call it the Garden Sherry Cobbler. So first we're gonna add three ounces of Fino Sherry. <laughs> and half an ounce of simple syrup. And 
Then we're gonna throw one lemon and one orange slice in the cocktail shaker and two cucumber ribbons. And then we're gonna extract the flavors by muddling a little bit to make sure the cucumber releases its flavors, the juice from the citruses and a little bit of the bitterness from the peels. We're gonna add ice to our shaker and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. The sherry cobbler was usually served in a Collins glass or a goblet, but today, to keep it even cooler, we're gonna serve it in a julep cup. So we're gonna strain our cocktail into it. And then we're gonna fill it all the way up with crushed ice. The classic recipe calls for a float of Pedro Jimenez sherry, but I prefer to use East India Solera sherry. It's a little drier and it suits my taste better. So we're gonna go with half an ounce of it on top of the cocktail. And now for the garnish, we're simply gonna place a beautiful cucumber slice on top of the cocktail to release some beautiful, refreshing aroma. We're gonna finish with a straw, just like this, next to the cucumber. And this, my friend, is how you make the garden sherry cobbler. Cheers. Summer in a glass. Now, let's move on to the fifth cocktail, the bitter south side. Let's go. The last cocktail of today's video is just a simple south side in which I add a little bit of Ferna Branca because it adds complexity, a hint of bitterness, and I just love it. So we're gonna start with two ounces of your favorite dry gin. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. quarter of an ounce of Fernabranca. And three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then we're gonna add a good handful of fresh mint leaves. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna fine turn it into our favorite cocktail coop. And for the garnish, we're gonna clip a little bit of mint on the cocktail, just like that. And there you go, guys, the last cocktail of today's video, five easy summer cocktails. I hope you're gonna like it. Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, have a great week, and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm. It's really good. Have a great day.